हाय गुड मॉर्निंग सो आई होप दैट यू आर डूइंग वेल ओके दिस इज अ लेक्चर टू ऑफ केमिकल रिएक्शन एंड इक्वेशंस चैप्टर वन ऑफ क्लास टेंथ ओके वी ऑलरेडी लर्न फ्यू थिंग्स फ्यू बेसिक बेसिक थिंग्स लाइक व्हेन वील से दैट अ केमिकल रिएक्शन हैज हैपेंड what is the difference between a physical change and a chemical change okay and how we are going to determine that or or you can say find out that a chemical reaction has happened okay now in this lecture we are going to uh, learn further few things like we are going to cover these topics factors determining occurrence of chemical reaction okay then we'll see the balancing of chemical equation because balancing what i feel is like very a uh, 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 we, we can say a very interesting topic huh? not a tough one but yeah interesting then we will see uh, types of chemical reactions these are not the uh, you can say uh, all the chemical reactions but uh, the one which is you can say which are important which are basic chemical reactions we will see and then we will uh learn combination reaction in detail okay and we'll see also the types of combination reaction in this lecture okay so hello everyone i am ashutosh and uh, i am here to teach you chemistry for ask iitians okay so i hope that you are enjoying my videos let's start huh? so first thing is factors determining occurrence of chemical reaction as we already have seen that a chemical reaction occurs when uh, two reactants are going to come closer okay so it means that if we have a reactant a and reactant b let's say so then the both are going to combine with each other or or interact with each other you can say to form c plus d plus e okay like this we can write as the general chemical reaction like this now so since the uh, reaction is going to happen if let's say there is no a and there is no b so then there will be no reaction okay so it means that the extent of reaction or the chemical reaction depends on the presence of you can say reactants so it means that uh, if let's say we have a uh, reactant a as only one mole let's say and reaction b as only a uh, two mole let's say okay so then the amount of c formed will be based on the initial amount of a and b okay if let's say we have now 10 moles of a and let's say uh, 17 moles of b so then the concentration of c or the amount of c which is going to form okay will be different okay in first case some other amount of c is going to form and in second reaction will have a different amount of c okay so it means that the the reaction chemical reaction depends on the concentration of its reactants okay it does not depend on the concentration of product because product is going to form from reactants and that's why the chemical reaction okay the extent to which the chemical reaction proceeds will depend on the reactant concentrations okay next physical state of reactants and surface area let me uh, explain this now we know that uh, uh, any chemical reaction okay or any substance exist in either solid form or gas let's write and or liquid huh? like like this we can write now we know that in solid the molecules are well arranged okay in a very nice manner okay then in liquid they will have some mobility okay some random mobility on okay like this while in gas the kinetic energy is very high huh? so in solid the kinetic energy is less we can say ke less okay
and here we can write ke as highest okay so in, since it has highest kinetic energy in gaseous form so it means that when whenever required okay or you can say when they are going to interact with each other let's say let's say a solid is interacting with b solid okay in first case and in second case let's say a gaseous is reacting with b gaseous okay so when in which of these two cases the uh, chemical reaction will you can say be more uh, we can say uh, more easy to occur uh, in gaseous phase why because in gaseous phase when the molecules are in gaseous phase or the reactants are in gaseous phase then there will be more interaction okay and that's why the the extent of chemical reaction or the rate of chemical reaction or uh, the amount of product formed will depend on the physical state of reactants or not when the physical state of reactants is gaseous okay then the interaction will be much more than what what the interaction was in solid phase or gas uh, or liquid phase and that's why gaseous reactions are violent or you can say are going to happen occur very easy okay now so this was physical state of reactants now surface area let's say let's say we have uh, surface area means the area of interaction one reactant has this much of surface area another reactant has this much of surface area so when they are going to like come closer to each other so then the interaction area no, is very high you can say this and this now if let's say we have another case and where the surface area is very less let's say this much only very small this much only okay and the other reactant has more surface area okay so then the interaction between these two will be less or not so when lesser surface area is are inter are interacting with each other then lesser molecules are interacting surface area is like more surface area means more molecules less surface area means less molecules okay like let's take one example let's say there is one reactant this one reactant and there is another reactant let's say like this okay so this is the surface area and let's say this is the surface area of b which are going to interact with each other so then as compared to this if we have a very small surface area and this let's say large surface area so then the interaction of this with this is very less or not the molecules on on this surface only are going to interact with the molecules of this so it means that when surface area is less then the interaction of different molecules of different uh, reactants are less and that's why the product form or the reaction will also be less okay now the temperature as we already so i hope that you learned this and this understood already not temperature so regarding temperature now we know that temperature determines the kinetic energy or the energy which a substance is holding okay like like solids any substance exists in solid form okay so when solid form it means that it will have a less kinetic energy okay if it exists in liquid form then it will have kinetic energy more than uh, solid okay and if it exists in gaseous form that is then it it will have you can say even further more kinetic energy okay so highest kinetic energy you can say so it means that it depends on temperature when temperature is high then kinetic energy is high okay and when kinetic energy is high then the interaction will uh, will be high higher and that's why the uh, reaction will occur easily okay so temperature increases then reaction also we can say uh, proceeds easily like this we can say then presence of catalyst presence of catalyst means uh, we can say that some of the reactions are like uh, let me tell you the presence of reactant like this let's say let's say we have a and b 
okay and a and b are not very comfortable with each other okay let's say let's take one example huh? are not very comfortable with each other interacting with each other reacting with each other like this we can say but if we bring in some c okay so now a is a can easily form bond with c and b can also easily form bond with c let's say okay so if i if i am going to show this to you now this is c okay a and b were not comfortable interacting with each other but when they formed a bond with let's say a formed a bond with c and b also formed a bond with c not like this okay so this is chemical bond i am showing and this is c okay and these are a and b now when situation like this occurs then a and b now will get more time interacting with each other or not and that's uh, that's when they are going to form a bond with each other like this